Hello, this is Stefan from Conductor, and in this lecture, we're going to learn how to use the Kafka Console Consumer CLI. So we know that consumers can read from partitions the data in order, and as well in the group, we'll see this later on, okay? And so we're going to practice an example to read a Kafka topic. So we'll consume from the tail of the topic, that means only new messages. We'll also consume from the beginning of the topic, okay, to see all the stuff from the beginning. And finally, we're going to also show options to see both the key and the values in the output of our consumer. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and practice the Kafka console consumer so we can reproduce with the CLI what we saw with the UI. Okay, so in this example, we're going to use this command right here. So you can always type the command to see the documentation, but we'll learn the most important options right now. So we have a topic with one partition, but I want to create a second topic with three partitions to show different behaviors if the data is distributed or not. So if we have a look now, the second topic is created using the Kafka topics command, and we're going to consume that topic. So right now we don't consume the first topic yet. Right now let's just consume the second topic. So when we launch this console consumer command, as you can see, the second topic is being consumed, but nothing happens. That's because we haven't sent any messages into that topic, and you will observe the same behavior. So if I do the same command with the first topic, as you can see, still no messages are being consumed because we consume from right now, not from the previous messages, but we'll see how to consume from the beginning in a few seconds. So let's do it again. We are going to consume right here and I'm going to start a command in the bottom to start producing. So I have my consumer on top and my producer in the bottom. So you can open a different terminal for you. For me, it's a shortcut command shift D for my special terminal, which is called iTerm. But you can just open another terminal window and achieve the exact same behavior. So let's do a console producer. And we're going to pass in a few important things. So number one, we produce to the second topic, the topic we just created. And number two, we pass in a producer property called the partitioner class. And this is called a round robin partitioner. The reason I'm using this round robin partitioner is because I want to produce to one partition at a time and change every partition. If you do not use this round robin partitioner, there have been so many optimizations built in into Kafka right now that you will keep on producing to the same partition up until you send about 16 kilobytes of data and then you will switch partition, which is very difficult to demonstrate as a teaching mechanism, but is great for production settings. But because we are learning Kafka and I want to show you what happens when we produce to multiple partitions, I'm going to be using this round robin partitioner. But again, do not use this in production. This is most likely the most inefficient partitioner you can ever find. Okay. So we are in this round robin partitioner. And now if I just send a message, hello world, my name is Stefan, it's working. As you can see, well, we see the messages appear in the console consumer. So that's pretty cool. So to just stop a consumer, you do control C. And again, if I run the same command and press enter, as you can see, nothing happens because you need to actually be sending messages again to the topic. So one, two, and three. And of course, these messages are appearing in my consumer. So you may be asking me, how do we consume from the beginning? Well, there is an option called consume from beginning. So let's run this right now and press enter. So as you can see, we have the messages appearing. So all the messages of sense are here, the six messages. But it turns out that they're not in the same order I sent them. So as you can see, number th the three, par example, for example, and the two were out ordered from the one. But that's actually normal. It's because I have three partitions, and so the data is only read in order by partition. I will show you this in a second to show you the partition number so we can observe that behavior. But for now, just accept this. And if you just do consume the first topic instead from the beginning, you're going to find all the messages of sense in order because there's only one partition. And because there's one partition, you will have everything in order, but you don't scale. In Kafka, you want to scale. And so therefore, you need multiple partitions and the producer will produce to different partitions. And we will consume from different partitions with different consumers at the same time. Another behavior we'll see in the next lecture. So to go back to our example with the second um, topic with three partitions, Let's go ahead and try to display the partition number. So for this, we have this entire command right here that I'm going to describe to you in a second. 
And so in here, what we do is that we are actually going to create use a formatter. And the formatter is using the default message formatter. And this is to format the output of this CLI command. And first property is print timestamp true to know when the message got received. Second is print key true to print the key because we don't see the key right now in the default console consumer. Print value true to also get the value, of course. And print partition true to get the partition number the message got assigned to. Finally, we use from beginning to read the messages from the beginning. So let's press enter. And we have some interesting information. So now it makes more sense as to the output we got. Because, well, the message, my name is Stefan, get assigned to partition 2. And the message 2 get assigned to partition 2. And so therefore, I see them in order from within the partition 2. And then it's working and the message 3 gets sent to partition 0. And hello world and 1 gets sent to partition 1. So again, remember that we get ordering per partition and that makes sense. And this is why it's good to remember this in Kafka. You don't get full ordering because that makes no sense. You get ordering per partition. And this command we just ran allows you to see this. And this is similar if you went into the UI and you were looking at the topic called second topic. So let's refresh this page and look at second topic. And you could filter by partition, for example, and just look at partition zero and apply and we'll find only two messages. And if you click on a specific message right here, you can look at the metadata and you see that it's partition zero of set one. So that's very helpful. And hopefully that allows you to understand the behavior of producers and consumers. And of course, well, if I keep on producing to my topic, so another one, yet another, and then last one, as you can see for these messages, they get sent to partition one, and then partition two, and then partition zero. All right, so that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next lecture.